Hello again, I am Blunty and I'm very excited right now because something has just happened that I've been waiting on for quite some time now. As we move towards the launch of Starfield, early access and then proper launch, there's going to be more and more stuff pushed in front of the the mainstream gamer audience, uh, in front of people who haven't been following Starfield for quite as long as some of us. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for them to finally notice that those, those little colors that are on all the Starfield merchandise and all Starfield logos and, and all, you know, it's just part of the uh, uh, colorway of Starfield, the, the branding of Starfield. They've got those four little colors. You can see them there. Um, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for people to start freaking out. Well, not people, certain types of people to start freaking out about Starfield being woke. And it's finally happening today, thanks to the news of the Xbox Series X wraps that were announced today that I did a video about earlier. And because it's sort of Xbox related, not specifically Starfield related, it fell in front of the faces of more people, I suppose. Quite honestly, I didn't expect it to take this long. But finally, finally, certain people, I'm, I'm far right leaning, see what it did there? Um, <laughs> have noticed the color band, the four color bands in the Starfield, uh, uh, you know, branding. And the reason I'm so excited about this is not because I'm, I'm excited by this discourse that happens all the friggin time on pretty much any media these days of people calling it woke or whatever, because that is beyond tedious. Just, just, just stop. You know, it's disingenuous. Shoo. But I've been waiting for this to happen because it gives me a chance to be all nerdy and point out something most people don't notice. And I get to go, ha ha, look at how impossibly nerdy I am because I knew this and I've been waiting for an opportunity to tell you all about it. Um, and here it is. So this comes from the first place I spotted it at uh, was in the IGN Instagram. And now I don't use Instagram. I saw someone else post about this. So I went there and check it out for myself. And I found the comments I've been waiting on. Comments like this one from uh, Jeff. Drans, I could do without the rainbow and just have stark white. Only raised lettering, not ink. I don't know whether that's specifically about uh, the, the kind of, you know, thing we're talking about here, but it, it's not a rainbow, first off. Um, it's, it, it's got four colors for a start, but the other ones I've found are, are more of what I was expecting. From Jamie, v Jamie, uh, uh, remember brothers, a rainbow is God's promise, not the symbol of people with mental illnesses use. <laughs> uh, Ionis, a pride button ruined button. Pride button. You can't, you can't actually turn your Xbox on with a straight finger anymore. <laughs> hmm. What about for us straight people? <laughs> OFC, it has alphabet colors. All right. There's, there's more of this sort of stuff floating around, but you get the point. These are the, you know, these are the classical examples, the obvious examples, the stuff you find everywhere on anything that someone's going to call woke. Actually, I haven't found a comment using the word woke yet, but it won't be long. It, it won't be long. Minutes. I, I could have stuck around in the comment section for a few minutes longer. I would have found it, I'm sure. Um, but here's the thing. Would you like to know why those particular four colors are used in Starfield? I saw someone suggest that it's because it's the old NASA logo. You know, the colors they used in the old NASA logo. No, it's not. That's the old NASA logo. That's... No, that's not it. These four colors are in fact the four colors we use for star sequencing. So when we classify stars, we do so based on their color, basically, their temperature effectively, but that affects the visual spectrum that we see. And if I pull up a chart of the Hertzberg-Russell diagram, showing the nice band of main sequence stars going through the middle there, uh, of which our sun is one of those, that's in the yellow part, you can see that it goes from blue to yellow to orange to red. What are those starfield colors again? Oh, look at that. Blue, yellow, orange, red. The starfield game colors are the star main sequence colors. Wow. Now, again, I'm a bit of a nerd. Um, so that's something I noticed straight off the bat, but I was just waiting for an opportunity to go, hey, did you know? Um, and this was a good opportunity because they're talking about the colors. They're not rainbow colors at all. They're the star sequence colors. You daffy bastards. For multiple reasons, they're daffy bastards. But in particular, for not being smart enough to realize that a star field is using the star 
sequence colors in its logos. I thought that was a pretty clever choice, clever design choice. I mean, if you're going to pick some iconic branding colors, that's a pretty smart way to go, I reckon. So there you go. Hopefully you've learned something, and hopefully because I got to put the word woke in this title, which is all provocative and stuff, uh, I've educated some, some, some people who are ordinarily quite dumb if they bothered to watch all the way through to the video after I pointed out um, that uh, I'm not on their side in this debate when I started mocking them right off the bat. <sighs> and hello to the rest of you who don't, who don't live all the way over here, um, who stuck around just because you're curious about what the hell was going on here. Uh, your secret comment word for the day is sequence. Thank you for watching. I think it was always some patrons scrolling up above there. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time. And um, I can't tell you how gleeful I am to, to be able to nerd out for just a little bit about the star sequence colors. <laughs> Made my day.